In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync all of your tenant contact and lease start information from Appfolio into Zinspector. The first thing you must do is set up the Zinspector Appfolio property sync as outlined in another video. So if you haven't done that yet, please stop here, watch that video, and set that up before continuing with this video. Alright, so now that you're all synced up, we're going to sync all of your tenant and lease data. I'll go into Zinspector, go to Advanced Contacts, and you'll see here I don't have any tenant contact information yet. So here I am going to go to Settings, Admin Settings, and click on Accounting Software Integration. In your account, you should have Appfolio synced and enabled. Here is my starting point. I'll click on Import Sync ID and copy this Sync ID here. This is your personal custom Sync ID. Depending on your browser, you may have to click Control C or Command C or in some others you can right click and then copy. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to Upfolio and I'll go to reporting and then click on reports and then I'm going to find the tenant directory. Here it is. So I'll click to go to the tenant directory report. Here you can decide which type of tenant you want to sync, but you definitely want future tenants and current tenants. And then you'll decide if you want to sync all types or not. You could do a filter, but really you're going to want all active properties. So now for columns, you're going to want all this key information here. But you'll also want to click some of these unchecked fields below. I'll scroll down and click on these here. I don't need the tenant's birth date, but the property and street address are important for the sync process. I do want the lease from date and the move out date. I don't need the rent information, but I do want the unit tag and unit type. We'll also need primary tenant, and that should be everything. All right, so in terms of grouping, we do not need to do anything else there. So now we can click update, and I've now generated this report here with all the contact information. So now I'm going to manually send this report into Z Inspector first, and then I'll set up a scheduled report similar to the property sync to keep this up to date daily. So here I'll click on actions and then email. We'll want to change the format to CSV and then paste that custom ID email address I copied from Z Inspector into the email body here. Now important here where it says unit in the email address, we need to change that to say tenant. So we'll change that, and that is what will tell Z Inspector that this is the tenant import. So now I'll copy that email address and paste it here into recipients. It should say sync plus AF tenant underscore, that is your personal ID there, at zinspector.com. So at this point, I can send it. Now at this point, I'll go back into Z Inspector. We'll go into advanced and then contacts. And we probably won't see it yet, but it will take about five minutes. And um, so just go ahead and take a break, uh, grab some coffee or something, and then come back in about five minutes, refresh your browser, and um, you should see that there. And we'll continue once your contacts have synced. Okay, so now I did a refresh, and sure enough, all of my contacts have now synced successfully. And you can see all the property relationships here as well. I can also go to Advanced and then click on Leasing to see that we have made the relationships between the tenants, the leases, and all the properties that they are associated with. You can also see the lease start and end dates here, which we got from that spreadsheet. Now all of your lease and tenant relationships are there. If you have upcoming tenants moving in, you can simply click here on Moving In to see just your upcoming moving in tenants, and in one click you can click invite to invite them to do their own tenant completed move in inspection. Okay, so we know this spreadsheet worked for the initial import, so now we wanna make sure that that spreadsheet gets sent to Z Inspector every day. So I'm going to go back to Appfolio, and I'll save this spreadsheet we created and call it Z Tenant Sync, and then I'll click save. So now that report is saved in Appfolio, and I'm going to go back to the Appfolio dashboard and go to reporting, and go to Scheduled Reports, and then I'll click on New Scheduled Report. I'll call this report Z Tenant Sync. I'll choose the report that we just saved, and make sure to choose CSV for the format. I'll paste in that custom email address again, and just want to make sure that it says AF Tenant as we 
previously had changed it to. I'll set it to send daily and then click save. Now I have that scheduled report set to send Appfolio tenant and lease information to the inspector every day to keep everything synced up daily. For more information, visit support.zinspector.com.